Hey nerdlings, Cam Nelder here, and you're watching everybody's favorite couple on YouTube, Do You Nerd? Hey nerdlings. What up nerdlings? Tom and Lacey here with Do You Nerd. Uh, actually, this is a very special video because <gasps> this is all for you, Captain Algebra. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> real quick, let us ask, Do You Nerd for PS4? All right, so we learned uh, a little over a year ago that we are not the best people to be taking requests. Yes, because we started out saying, hey, let us know what you want to see. And then we realized, <laughs> we won't do it. It's... <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> we kept, we kept uh, putting it on the back burner, and then, yeah, about a year passed. So it's like, all right, we, we need to uh, buckle down. Now, real quick, guys, if you have not checked out Captain Algebra, he is a great YouTuber. Uh, he does some fun videos like uh, VGM unboxings and everything. And streams. Some pickups. But, yes, his streams are fantastic. He's so great about engaging everyone in the chat that comes in there. Plus, he plays really awesome games, and he's pretty good at those games, too. He inspires some people to go back to that childhood very games true. And, and play them. Very true. And beat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, he had requested to see our PS4 collection. And after you check out this video, be sure to hit him up on his channel. Links will be in the description below. So let's get started. Let's get started. Thanks, bro. Thanks. <laughs> now, of course, we have the... Uh, the the Fairly. things you will need for this video. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> a PS4 console. <laughs> Multiple controllers. I love you, Rosanna. Of course, we have a, a pretty standard PS4 uh, console. We didn't get the Pro yet, although, you know, we are not opposed to getting the Pro. So uh, if any of you have one just lying around and you want to <laughs> send it over to Do You Nerd, we'll give you a shout out. But we do like to get the various iterations of the systems. When they're cheaper. But as for now, this is the one <laughs> system we have. And we have just three controllers. Controllers for it. Of course, it came with the black controller. I'll do a little Vanna White for you guys. And the other two controllers were all her choosing because, first of all, I believe she wanted the blue one. I did because that blue is one of my favorite colors. And in the PlayStation 3, that was the first thing he bought me was a blue controller. And my DS was blue that you bought me. So was, she wanted to carry so that yeah, tradition. So yeah, carry on over. the tradition. And then there was the gold controller, which I may be wrong about this, but I think this might have been a uh, GameStop. I think it was a GameStop exclusive. The um, We just needed an extra controller at the time, and we were really good friends with the manager there. And he's like, hey, I... This was actually his controller, and he's like, I just traded this into the store, so I know it's good. <laughs> and, you know, I was like, ooh, the gold's really pretty. So. And, yeah, so far, true to his word, it has worked wonders. So far, there's only, and he, like he said, I'm usually the one who picks out colors. There's only one controller I want left out there, and it was, like, a, a pretty, like, bluish, tealish color with, like, purple accents. I, GameStop had it, and then they sold out, and they've never gotten any more in. One more thing, even though this wasn't... Uh, specifically for the PS4, I believe you could use the PS3 on this as well. We do have a PlayStation TV unit, and this is more for us to help be able to play some of those yeah. Vita games uh, without having to be hunched over on yeah. the Vita. All right, well, let's get this out of the way and get to the games. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Y'all ready Holy for cow. this? Uh, so real quick, I just want to say that I did not realize we had a fairly decent PS4 collection until we started rounding everything up, but it's like, wow. So we're going to try to get through these fairly quick because I don't know the best way to show these. So starting off... So here's our collection. Okay, next. Moving so we on. got uh, <laughs> the Assassin's Creed games, starting with Unity and Syndicate, and then most recently Origins and Odyssey, which uh, so recent we have not taken them out of the plastic yet. Yes. Now, we have long been fans of the Assassin's Creed games. We do Creed love games. the Assassin's Creed games. In fact, such fans... That I love my plushies. So, and I also like female figures whenever they come out because I don't feel like there's enough of them. So when there was a female Eevee assassin, I had to jump on it. So he got that for me at the store. We got Cassandra, the female from the Assassin's Odyssey. So that was also exciting. And then it's not an Assassin's game, but to kind of go along with it, because I like my females, Emma plushies, because she's female and she's plushy, alloy from Zero Horizon Dawn Event Horizon Zero Dawn. That's... <laughs> It's quite a name. It is a name. <laughs> uh, some of these we would just pick up because we would find them really cheap and it looked interesting, like Bound by Flame. 
And for our kiddo, she likes the shooters, so Call of Duty Ghosts. Pew pew! We had a lot of fun with Deadpool. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I mean, we're Deadpool fans anyway. It is everything anyway. you want from Deadpool, from a comic, thrown into a video game, and yeah. It's All the, uh, the cameos amazing. by Marvel characters in there was fantastic. Yeah. What a lot of fun. Uh, one that I'm looking forward to us playing together is Diablo 3. I think that we'll have a lot of fun working on that once once we finally <laughs> get to it. I don't know. Like All I got is a pew pew sound, but like clank clank. Like, I don't know, sword. <laughs> clank clank. Now this is one that actually kind of disappointed you because you were really excited about playing Disney Infinity. I was. But they didn't really implement it all that well. Mm -mm. Uh, they usually kind of prevented you from using certain characters in certain stages. Yeah, it's one of those things that it's like, they did better in the sense that your figure did better than what Amiibos do. You actually get to play as that character. But I think it would have been a lot more fun if you could have whatever character you had and you scanned it into the game so you can be running around yeah, Marvel visitors. with a Disney princess Where's or something. something of course, I mean, now they probably would let you because <laughs> Disney owns everything. But, you know, that, that's why I was disappointed because your figures had to stay with their games. So the Marvel figures had to stay with the Marvel game and, you know, the Star Wars had to stay with the Star Wars game. So that was kind of... <laughs> One that uh, I believe your dad was uh, really excited for me to try out was Doom. And got some RPG love here with Dragon Quest Heroes, and then Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, as well as the ultimate boy band road trip with Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> I love the commercial for that thing. It is so a boy band video. Now, back when we were playing a little more online, we had an absolute blast with Friday the 13th, the game. Uh, we're big fans of the series. Yes. And initially, we did have it digitally, but this was one of those... I'm just going to put this over here. Rare instances where we went out and actually bought the physical game once it was available. All right, a lot of uh, game of the year choices for many players. God of War, the latest one. Of course, uh, right up there. Doesn't get much bigger than Grand Theft Auto V either. We are Scooter Brothers. Scooter Brothers. Oh, Trevor, love you. <laughs> a game that we had actually won from a contest from fellow YouTuber. Uh, I believe that was Ken's Games Collection was Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice. So exciting for Crazy Lady to play with. And I have always been a fan of the King's Quest game. I've actually been looking forward to this one because this was nice in that it took all of the episodic content and put it all in one place. <laughs> I quickly read the back of this. I thought it said, um, The Return of the Last Jedi. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. That's what happens when you quickly look over words. <laughs> now, we had played this one on PS3, yes. but we loved it so much we did pick it up, uh, the remastered, remastered version. But we, as you can see by the <laughs> cellophane, we still have not sat down to play through it again. But we have played through it on PS3. Now, this was one that I got for you to try out. Yes. Life is strange. And I have not got to it yet. <laughs> but soon would be a good time to because I yes. uh, got a sequel coming. Yes, and he picked this up for me because I loved Heavy Rain so much. And this is in the kind of the same vein as Heavy Rain. So I was very excited for this, but then I even have my own backlog. <laughs> I guess when someone else is hogging a PS4. I know. <laughs> um, another win. This one from Gaming Ain't Easy, The Last Guardian. With the um, dog bird. I love my dog bird. He's so cute. We are <sighs> such fans of the Lego yes. games. And anytime they come out, we uh, we always... Well, I say we hurry to buy them, but we buy the last one, which is usually at the $20 yes. mark by the time the new one yeah. comes out. Um, now, these are games that typically when we play them, we 100% We do. Games. And this was a series that we started playing together right when we first started mm -hmm. dating. And he was like, let's try a Lego game, because he wanted to get us to playing something together. And I honestly had always been under the impression that Legos... They're they're like kid games and so i thought they would be like little kitty games he's like no trust me they're fun and it was lego star wars so yeah then it made me an instant fan of the lego games so that's something we always know we're always gonna play we always have a game to play together we're not done yet no um i Can think you still see me now she's been a uh, a fan of this series but i think she's still a little nervous about trying this one out mm -hmm. that's because there's new people in it but i love mass effect two was my favorite three was okay i never actually played the first one but when you played mass effect two you got to like play the first one where like <laughs> they turned it into a comic book so i felt like i was caught up but yeah since this one has different characters in it and that's what i loved about mass effect i've been a little nervous of starting this one and i haven't heard good things about it 
Uh, speaking of not hearing good things, the game that disappointed so many people, Mighty Number no. 9. It was the Mega Man that everyone thought they wanted until they got it, and it was not. You know, this one's very mixed. A lot of people were disappointed by it. The Order, 1886. This was a fairly fun game. I liked game. it. I um, thought it was fun. What I really liked about <laughs> it was the world and the lore, though. And I really would have loved to have seen them expand on that some more. It's a shame that we probably won't get another one. Yeah. Because uh, it had a really great world and great characters, mm -hmm. too. Uh, it was kind of one of those, it was a great game, just done not so great. Yeah, I liked it, though. I thought it was fun. Another one for the kid Oak. She loves playing online. Mm -hmm. So Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. And she, oh man, she's put some hours into that. Yeah, she has. Uh, Rad Rogers. This was a uh, fun little pickup. I love all the tongue-in-cheek humor in this. If you have not checked that out, it's it's <laughs> it's good fun. The kiddo's not the only one seeking hours into games because boom. Mm. Oh, we waited so long for this one. Yes. We loved Red Dead Redemption. We did. And we waited and waited forever for a sequel. You know, I honestly had hoped they would do an HD re-release of the first one to kind of, you know, catch us back yeah. up, even though this I'm is a prequel. I'm still holding out that they will, though. That'd be nice. Yeah. Um, fun fact, by the way, I used some of my GameStop credit, and I got this brand new for 10 bucks, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, this was a cheapo one that we picked up, uh, I think, at one of the Toys R Us before they closed. Probably. Again, just kind of a fun-looking game. Uh -huh. I think we got it for like five bucks, maybe, yeah. around the time. Very cheap. Uh, oh, Secret of Mana, the, the remaster. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> the Sims 4. Yeah. She was Sims looking forward was so to that one. Sims 3 was so much fun, but this one didn't really play like a like a sims game the other one honestly played like sims on the sims 3 played like a sims computer game on your console this one they changed up the mechanics a little way too much they changed up the way you did things the way you yeah I, yeah <laughs> and i even bought day one i bought this day one and i bought all the like i think it was like 40 or some odd dollars worth of yeah uh all the dlc all at once because it was like vampires and extra clothes and all kinds of fun stuff because i was like yes i'm gonna love them. yeah she's not bitter nope <laughs> now she is a <laughs> big fan of the telltale games i love telltale and uh, games. of course unfortunately telltale the studio is now gone no, but uh bad. one that we picked up just to try out was tales from borderland and again this is one of those i believe when it came out I want to say it was an episodic one, but with mm -hmm. the Telltale games, we were real big about waiting until yes. you had like the full collection. Okay. Now, this we picked up because uh, we could not resist that 80s charm. You've got things like He-Man, Fighting G.I. <laughs> Joe's, all kinds of stuff It's pretty your much toy what box. you did on a Saturday morning when exactly. your cartoons were over, then you got your toys out and you were like, pew, 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 pew. So this was a, a neat little find. Oh, I everything with me pew pews. Everything pew pews. So a series that carried over from the ps3 oh, i go through withdrawals when we finish this ser this series she really does. every time we finish a game it's like a couple weeks afterwards and i'm like i need some more uncharted i need some more nathan drake <laughs> <laughs> but they are great games they and are. four was really well done we didn't know what to think after you know kind of the first trilogy the first trilogy really wrapped things up fairly nicely yeah, yeah. so you know kind of introducing new characters and yeah. everything uh yeah we went into it a little bit skeptical but had a great I time i will honestly say with that because i don't want to spoil it for anybody it's kind of what you wanted in another game like a continuation game it was exactly what you wanted to see so and we Perfect. had so much fun with until dawn oh my gosh yes I think after we finished it, we went back and like, kind of like with the Choose Your Own Adventure book, you write down with the choices that you made and did the complete opposite and, you know, see how things happened. And we wanted to see if we could save this person instead of let them die or let this one die. And, you know, so we, oh my gosh, yeah, we played this one for a while. The butterfly effect in, so in effect in that game. The motion capture acting oh, yeah. was really, really good. I yeah. mean, they did a great job getting their, you know, the likenesses, their voices, I mean, it really did feel like you were watching the actors literally do everything. Who knew that Freddie Mercury, a.k.a. Rami Malek, <laughs> could do horror hey, so well? <laughs> I'm just joshing you. I'm just, just joshing you. Oh, uh. that's hard. <laughs> Uh, this was one that you were very interested in, just from the looks of vampires. Yes, because vampire. I love vampires, and so I thought, hey, let's have a vampire game. And they don't look like they're sparkly, so it's got that going What's for What's wrong with sparkly things? 
<laughs> Jumping back on that Telltale train, we have The Walking Dead Season 2. Now, you had played, I have, I played Season 1. I played Season 1. one. I, have not gotten in, I have not played yet Season 2. But I'm looking you forward played to it, Season 1 on PS3, yeah, right? Yeah. And you actually wanted to revisit it I on did, PS4 I did. before you started yeah, this one. I did. I actually wanted you to play it. So that you could get a feel for it, but so I, I could go through and be a jerk to everyone. He probably would be, but that way I would get like a refresher course, but let him experience it. And uh, something that I've not yet started because I am afraid of the time I will sink into it is The Witcher Three. I'm looking forward to oh it. Oh my gosh! I've seen a lot of fan art from this game, and it looks really awesome. So Everything, I'm looking forward yeah. To it. Everything about this looks so beautiful, but I'm I'm scared of the time that'll drop into it. <laughs> and last of the. Typical stuff. We're not done yet. But Don't go nowhere. Here is your Wolf Among Us. I know. such That actually was one of the things that kind of got me into the Telltale games. And it yeah. Was, it was a lot of fun because it was very, it's very comic booky and very like, you know, um, you know, fun action-y stuff. So I, I really enjoyed it. I, I love that game. And th speaking of comic booky, this is based on the yeah. comic series Fables. And uh, yeah, they just have a lot of fun with uh, kind of making the... All the Grimm's fairy tales yes. and fables that you grew up knowing. Kind of I actually them dark wanted them to turn this into a TV show and I would just watch it. Because it was very fun watching like your normal characters living in, you know, the world or whatever. But I, this was another game that I went through a couple of times and made different choices. That's true. So, can All you right. still see me? Well, what else could we possibly have? Black cases? What the heck are black cases for? <laughs> that is not PS4. So here's something that I do. Whenever we download a game and we have it digitally mm -hmm. on the PS4, I like to make false covers for them, put them in uh, black cases so it doesn't look like a typical PS4 case, put them on the shelf, and that makes it a lot easier for whenever we have people over yes. to see what games we have instead of like, well, we've got all of these games. Oh, wait, here, let me try to remember and list off all the digital that ones. That way, or, you know, like some people would put them in like a notebook or whatever, and it's like, that's not as much fun. It doesn't really show off how many games you actually do have. So it's a nice visual representation. It's just aesthetically pleasing, in my opinion. Yeah, and uh, plus, like you said, when people have it written down in a notebook, it's kind of hard to tell what that game is about. So at least this gives them, yeah. you know, a little bit of cover art to look at. Now, I will say there are a few exceptions because we did have a fair amount of games digitally that we got when we had PlayStation Plus. Uh, currently, we have not renewed that. So since those are games <laughs> that you can only play while you have PlayStation yeah. Plus, we never made cases for them because it's like, mm, it doesn't it really away. count that way. I had initially done <laughs> Saturday morning RPG because I missed out on the limited run release but we got it on Switch, so in all honesty... And we got I, action figures with it. I may not keep this digital game anymore. But I picked up Strider because that's a, a fun one. A nice revisit to the classic. I got this one for her, Surgeon Simulator A&E. It is hard oh, and not man, for the nuts. reasons you think it is. It's not hard because... You know, it's just a hard game to play. The controls, like you've got your scalpel and you're trying to cut and it literally, it's like it's floating in the air and you're trying to get it down. It, just imagine yourself like drunk and someone has a hold of your arm and you're trying to cut and it just, <laughs> yeah. Tesla grad. A lot of these I would uh, usually see like quick trailers of online and whenever they were cheap enough, I would be like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. We Why do not? participate in the flash sales a lot yeah. when the games are like two ninety nine, ninety nine Those cents. Are great. Yeah. So uh, another one for the kiddo, the original Plants vs Zombies: Garden Warfare. I played the original on the computer. I remember that one a long time ago. <laughs> now a game that I played so much. <laughs> oh, I had such a blast with Pac Man Two Fifty Six. What a great game! So real quick, it's a uh, endless board of Pac-Man. The bottom is being glitched out, I know, you know, it's so because cute you're looking. you're on level 256, so you've got that glitch going, and you're racing to try to get away from it. You still have to avoid ghosts. You can pick up all kinds of power-ups, like lasers, you know, little tiny Pac-Man that go and eat everything. But uh, it's a score-based game. You're just trying to see how long you can survive and how high you can get that score. All right, so we had actually picked this up in a flash sale. This was uh, when Assassin's Creed did some like fun little side-scrolling games, and there were three of them, and I was very hesitant about buying it digitally because I really wanted a physical copy. Any of these that I could get physically, I would rather have. And we do, too, sometimes. Sometimes when we do find them out cheap enough, yes. we will get them physically and then get rid of this and kind of even almost delete the file 
on the PS just to give us more space. So the disappointing thing was a flash sale came about. We got this one really cheap. I went ahead and got it. And then it was just a couple of months later and I started seeing the three pack on disc in stores. Yeah. So that was a shame. Uh, another flash sale one, I believe Arcane Arcania, the complete tale. And one for my childhood, another world. Of course, when I was playing it, it was out of this world. <laughs> Me and a buddy, we took turns working on this one, and we eventually finished it back on Super Nintendo, and oh my gosh. <laughs> That's... There were choice words many, many times. Um, last stage, the lever. Don't pick the wrong one. Just, just saying. All right, uh, another flash sale beauty, Kronos. I think we need to have a therapy session about this one. Probably. <laughs> And Deponia, this one looked like a lot of fun. I still haven't sat down and played it because I suffer from the same problem of not looking at the game's library, so I forget the digital <laughs> games that we have on there. But uh, a classic indie title. Wait till you hear it. These were both uh, flash sale games. Murdered Soul Suspects, and then Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment. That's for you to play, for me to watch. And those are ones that we're always on the lookout for. If we can find real cheap, we'll yeah. delete the digital, keep the original. Yes. Uh, this was the game that we actually got, and that's why it's in a different colored one. But we got this game free digitally when we bought our PS4. Yeah. And holy cow, what a great game. It's I beautiful. I loved this game. The uh, psychedelic yeah. oh missions. My gosh. I think one of your favorite things to do, though, is to get on the elephant and just run through yeah. town yeah. or the bad guys and you just see them flying. So long, sucker. I can only imagine what that would look like if you're like off in the distance and you just see bad guys. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it looks like. The bad guys are like, hey. Tom's over there. Let's, <laughs> let's go get a beer. Forget what about that. that weird little helicopter thing that you'd always get uh, yep. on and go as high as you could? Oh, forget about fast travel. <laughs> Once I found that copter, I would I would fast travel to the copter and just fly it wherever. <laughs> and then another uh, indie title that I had to pick up to try was Dust and Elysian Tale. So, again, just I'm some, allergic to dust. You know, well, you better keep away from that. Don't, one, don't, don't touch it. <laughs> so, again, just some digital games from our collection in their false cases to make it a little easier to remember that we have them even though that does not work at all for us and we actually do this for all the systems not just playstation 4 we do it for three the wii wii u any of our systems that you can get digital games for we will do this for just so and even ds we've done it for a couple of ds games that we've got um that way it just makes it easier for people to to really identify what we have all right now this little stack right here is the majority of, with a few exceptions, our limited run games. Now typically uh, with limited run we go for the games that we're actually interested in instead of trying to get a full set because that would be insane. That being said, these first three, we actually got these in a bundle from Limited Run. Uh, we were going for a different game, these kind of came with it, it was the only way to get that other game. Yeah, because we missed out because... I think our internet screwed up at the time. We were out of town, and we were using the hotel internet, oh, and we clicked the button, nightmare. and then it glitched, like, the, like the, it just blinked out, and then we came back, and it was gone, so it's like, well, I guess we're getting the big bundle this time. <laughs> the funny thing <laughs> is, when we got these, we were like, oh, yeah, when we ordered these, we were like, oh, yeah, you know yeah. what, we'll just uh, we'll just sell those off, because you know, we weren't interested. And recoup some of the in. money, because it was more expensive. But then the problem is, if you haven't noticed, it's kind of hard for us to sell off stuff if it's not a double, so that's why we still have them, and that's why they're still sealed. You know, what's funny is, I knew we weren't going to do that, and I think he was just saying that to make me feel better, even though I knew Possibly. we weren't going to sell them. He's like, don't worry, honey, we'll sell it to recoup, and in my head, I'm going, no, we won't. No, we won't. <laughs> Um, couple, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> now, some of these we have shown off in videos before, so just to run through them real yeah, we'll quick. Yeah, we'll do it real fast. We got Typo Man, Yeast Origin, Why, Wonder yes. Boy, The Dragon's Trap. This is the one that you can do the, uh, the updated graphics or the retro graphics or the music or a combination of either one. Oh, that's right, because you can also, button. I believe, you can switch the cover around mm -hmm. and have the, the new version or the old version. A game that wants to be Zelda so bad, <laughs> Ocean Horn. Definitely had to go for that one. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, oh shit. <laughs> now, we had this digitally, but once it was on a disc, we couldn't resist. Oregon Trail, the complete edition. 
organ like in like your body organ. organs because it's zombies. <laughs> the trailer, if you guys have never watched the trailer for this, it is hilarious. The live action one. I will say, if Future Tom can find that link, you need to put it in there, Future Tom. <laughs> Don't and, let me down. And uh, going with a good story game and showing Tim Schafer some love, we got Broken Age. Brokeback Mountain. And uh, so we can battle each other. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Double Dragon 4. <laughs> In the words of the today's teenagers, I'm so random. And then we also had Mama Dora. Now this one looks so cool. I'm very excited to, to give this one a go. I think that you are really going to like the visual style in it. She too. looks cool. I will say that. Like she's got a mouth in her throat or something going on. I don't know, but <laughs> she looks really neat. I like the way she looks. But this one got packed in there. This is actually one of the other ones. World of Final Fantasy. So that goes in the other stack. The Not normal, limited run. The normal game stack. Correct. Okay, so now a quick look at some of the uh, either big box stuff or special edition stuff, just just for fun. Funsies! So we got Dragon's Crown Pro. Now this came in that nice steel book with the fairy booty. Yeah, there it is. I'm surprised <laughs> she still has paint on her butt. Fairy booty. Who doesn't like to rub fairy booty? And then uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. So we got this. I think there's supposed to be a slip cover Probably. over it, which unfortunately we don't have. But we did get the book because it's got all that cool artwork in it and everything. All the fun little and pictures. And the outside of it looks like a very well-worn leather bound book. Since we love our Lego games, we got the deluxe edition of Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Okay, so to go along with the um, Lego Star Wars Special Edition one, we were... Still had some very good friends at GameStop. They have since moved on to other ventures, but they had um, a countdown clock for the Lego game. And I said, what do I have to do to get that countdown clock? And he reached over, grabbed it, and said, nothing. So, <laughs> blah -da, there it is. Now, the only crappy thing is, is the clock, you can't do anything with it now. Like, I was hoping that you could, like, change it to, you know, like, regular read clock, time. read the time. <laughs> Or even just start a new countdown, like start the countdown over and count down to like a vacation or whatever. No, can't do anything with it. But it's kind of neat. You've got BB-8 on the back with the date of when it's coming out and everything. And then, you know, just just some fun figures on there. So it's a fun thing to have in the collection. It just you can't do anything now. And then we actually got the deluxe edition of Song of the Deep. Now this one, it comes in a nice little steel book. And it comes with a storybook. And your sister read the storybook and absolutely fell in love with it before ever even seeing anything to do with the game. Yes. All right, so that limited run game we were talking about earlier, we did a video all about Night Trap. So uh, on the PS4, and we had some uh, technical issues when trying to play the audio cassette tape. All right, another video that I believe we did was for the Undertale collector's edition. Mm -hmm. And this was... Uh, I think that you were sold on this uh -huh. just by the, the lock minute he alone. Pretty much any time he wants something that is from Limited Run and it comes with things, he knows he can usually get it because he'll just send me the link. I'm like, that's so cool, get it! So, yeah. Now, this was actually from Fan Gamer, just to clarify. But you should also check them out because when they're not doing fun stuff like this, collector's editions like this, they have a lot of cool stuff over there, yeah. too. Yeah, they really do. So yes, like like he was saying, some of these we've already done videos for. So go back and watch those videos if you haven't yet. Now this was a uh, this was one of our videos that when we did an unboxing of this, it actually had a ton of views, and we were shocked. That doesn't mean we don't want more views. But uh, yeah, so we got the Fallout 4 Game of the Year edition with the Hip Boy, Hip -Boy. in there, and unfortunately, you know, I still suffered from a lot of the same issues trying to play this Fallout as I did with previous ones with yeah. the game freezing and losing my saves so i didn't get very far in this definitely not as far as i would have liked to have. i think we've picked it up since then on xbox and we to just haven't it. because we've heard from a lot of people that xbox wasn't as glitchy as four so we just haven't got around to trying it yet which is a shame because i'm really looking forward to it we did get the oh, starter gosh, pack way too many for lego dimensions on the ps4 we actually haven't played Lego Dimensions yet because our original goal, kind of like the Amiibo, when it first came out, there was not that many. So I was like, okay, I don't want to play it yet until we get all the figures we want. But then like Amiibo, they kept coming out with figures and coming out with figures and so yeah, <laughs> we haven't played it yet.
Uh, once again, one of our friends from GameStop, he asked us if we were interested in the LEGO Dimensions display that they used to have for like a year or something so. and decided he didn't want any more, but he knew we were the per perfect people to have for it. So it's kind of neat. The only problem is, is we can't get into it and the pieces have all since broken off and so they're, they're not displayed quite right in there. The next two are some big box collections. Big, big box. Now, we did do an unboxing of... Mila Kunis, Mila Kunis. <laughs> Nino Kuni 2, Kunis. Revenant Kingdom. <laughs> and this had a ton of fun stuff in it. It did. And I love those little guys on the, the sides. Those little, like, are they sprites? Or I don't know what they were. But they're adorable. And along with the nice big box, it did come with a gorgeous little steel book. Those are always fun to collect. Everyone loves their steel books. Yes. It's huge! Now the next big box one is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Collector's Edition. Now we actually bought this shortly before we started doing Do You Nerd? Yes. So we did not do an unboxing of this. If you guys are ever curious to see what's inside, yeah. we'll take note of that and maybe a couple of years from now we'll actually do that video, right Cap? This actually... Uh, we didn't even have the VR yet when we bought this one and we didn't know if we were going to get one But literally the stuff this thing came with was what made me want it So we put it on we basically used the pre-order as a layaway and we pre-ordered it and then just went in and made payments on it Because it was a little pricey, but I just I loved all the stuff that came with it and it's so cool <laughs> Now you guys just <laughs> need one. to help me convince her to play through this game with the VR That's a you thing. No way. I don't need them popping in my face. I've played the little demo of it. It freaks me the hell out. And with that one, it came with a nice steel book as well, amidst all the stuff in there. Okay, so that Resident Evil 7 was the perfect segue it into the VR! Oh, so here's the thing. Uh, we were suckers. Yeah. And we bought this fairly shortly after it came out. And why are we suckers? It's me. It's me. Yeah. It hey, was all... check it out, guys. Check it out. <laughs> it wasn't me this no, time. No, it was all me. <laughs> it was all because we went to GameStop one day, and they were there was a PlayStation rep there, and he was actually demoing the, the VR. So I put it on. It looked awesome. It was very lifelike. And then while he was demonstrating it for himself, I was talking to the, the rep and asking him all kinds of questions about it. And I really did like the fact that you can see on the TV what you're seeing in here. That's not VR related, you know, you don't get to see it all in the 3D or whatever, but whatever you're looking at on here, you see it on the screen. So if you turn your head and look at behind you, then the, the TV does the same thing. So that was like, well, if there are VR games, he can play them and I can watch them. Sharks don't phase Tom. It's honestly probably been a good year since we've played this, which yeah. kind of brings us back to why we were suckers. Pretty much we got this way too early. When we got this, yeah. hardly anybody was online. Uh, there were barely any VR games. Yes. There was like a, a stack that you could fit in your hands. Uh, there just wasn't a whole lot of support, a lot of push for it. Not a lot of people had it. Not a lot of people knew about it. And not a lot of people seemed all that interested in yeah. it. And at, by the time we were kind of done with it, we're like, ah, eh, whatever, it's a novelty, it's worn off. That's when I started seeing everyone online picking up their VRs for much, much better prices. So kudos to you guys, yeah. by the way. Normally we're the ones who always wait on everything. And so, uh, yeah, and then everyone's like My playing fault. games online <laughs> and we're just like, well... You know, we're, we're kind of over it already. And it's like, oh my gosh. So that was a big fail on our part. Yes. Um, as you can see, though, we have this nice station that holds the VR headset itself. Which is not, I mean, it's literally just a head dock thing for it. 
And then it also holds two of the Move controllers. We already had those for the PS3 era. And it also holds one of your standard controllers. The nice thing about this part, though, is it does charge your mm -hmm. Move and your regular controller. So that is pretty neat. So we actually keep the VR thing plugged in all the time. And... Um, constantly charging one of these and that way because we only have one charging cable for the regular for the other controller so so get let allows us to charge multiple things at once we do have some digital games that i have yet to make some covers for and do the false boxes for mostly because a lot of those games we really did buy those digitally as placeholders things like job simulator which is so much fun we're like all right we'll go ahead and get the digital version of this but then once we find a physical copy, we'll just buy that. Yeah, good luck with that. Hey, what the? Ooh, message. Things like keep talking and nobody explodes. That's a fun one. That, that one is a lot of everybody fun. Everybody interacting yes. uh, together real quick. If you don't know, the person in the VR is seeing different stuff from what the people on TV are seeing on the TV and you have to work with them. If I'm wearing the VR, I have to describe to her what I'm seeing. You're the, now the person with the VR, correct me if I'm wrong, you're the one trying to defuse a bomb. Yes. And then you there's a manual you can either look at online or print it off, basically download the manual and print it off, which what we'll, we did that. And so the person with the VR is trying, you know, like I'm seeing four wires, it's red, green, blue, orange, and then so you flip through the manual to figure out which order to cut those in. The point is you have to cooperate with yeah. one another and you have to be very clear with what you're seeing and yes. you have to be very clear with the instructions that you're finding in the manual. Yeah, because so we can't see the bomb. It's a great co-op game. Yes. But uh, we did buy some on disc. Of course, we got the typical VR worlds and just the demo disc yeah. uh, because they're great great pieces to have whenever someone comes over and wants to try the yeah. VR out for the first time. It definitely gives you a good example of, of the things that the VR can do. And something that she wanted was actually the Star Wars Battlefront Deluxe Edition. For one reason only. <laughs> the VR. For the VR because you could sit inside the TIE Fighters and it was really cool because that was one of the things that I demoed there and you, I like, I looked down and I'm wearing the fly suit and it's super cool so that was why I wanted that game. A little kamikaze attack, I like it. And this was one of the games that was that kind of helped burn us out on VR was Star Trek Bridge Crew. We are both Star Trek fans. We and have been waiting and waiting for this because the, the trailer made it look so cool and we watched actual Star Trek people playing the game. That was really a lot of fun. But the idea of operating as a crew working together at all the various bridge stations sounded amazing. Here's the problem. When we had it, you could only do that online unless you had a bunch of systems yeah. and VR units in the same room linked together and no one else was playing it. And around the time when we were done with VR, that's when people started talking about playing this and how much fun they were having. It's like, the other no, problem that, that been nice. I had with it was the tutorial was horrible because they threw you into it. Like there's a tutorial where you sat in a classroom and there was a teacher in front of you and he explained how to do things. If you were working this station or working this station, this is what you're going to do. And that was it. And then they throw you into the game. There's no like hands-on tutorial to figure out how to play things. Or if there was, I couldn't find it. So I just, it, it wasn't, I never felt comfortable enough to get online and play with anyone because I didn't know what I was doing. I couldn't figure anything out. Uh, Until Dawn, Rush of Blood is a shooter roller coaster simulator in yes. VR. And it's, it's a lot of fun. We definitely have a yes. blast showing this one off to people. Just a funny little notation on this. What happened the very first time you ever tried this? <laughs> so I didn't even get to the game and it's dark and you're looking around this dilapidated like warehouse and you start hearing back behind you someone singing Frere Jaca. Oh shit! 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 Oh sh
And they're right there, and I went, nope. <laughs> Took it off and put it down. What was it like? 10, 30 if, seconds? If that. 30 seconds worth of playtime, and I was like, nope. But I was a big brave dog, and the next day, literally during the day, I was like, all right, all right, let me try this again. <laughs> all right, well, the last disc based game that we have for the VR is her Werewolves with that. One of my favorites. This game is so much fun, but. You do have to be able to play it with other people. There is absolutely no playing it by yourself. If you are by yourself, you're sitting around a campfire waiting for other people to show up. But this game is basically a can't, how well can you lie kind of a game. Like you start off the game and it'll tell you if you're the werewolf or if you're a villager or if you're any other there's a couple other special characters but you're but the everyone sees you as an avatar and you're trying to lie and convince them you're not the werewolf. And if you get found out that you're the werewolf which is bad then you know you lose the game but if you can end the game and they didn't find out that you're the werewolf then you win and it, it's it's just a lot of fun but it is one of those things everyone sits around a campfire and asks questions but it's very much a conversation game you can literally just have conversations and talk to people without even going through playing the game i love that game it's so fun well we did it cap we made it <laughs> How long was this video? Ridiculously long, I bet. But you just asked because for it. You better have watched the whole thing. <laughs> it's just because we have a lot of stuff. And honestly, you know, if you hadn't requested it, well, I mean, we probably didn't have this much stuff like a year ago. But if you hadn't requested it, we wouldn't have known just how much stuff we have for the PS4. I know. And that's kind of nuts because uh, I never realized this, which means we need to stop yammering on and go work on some of these games because there's way too many there's way well, more than i thought it was kind of funny because we were going through and you know getting the games off the shelf and then we would walk around the game room and be like oh crap well this is a ps4 oh well this is <laughs> ps4 it was all over the place <laughs> well nerdlings definitely leave a like if you happen to like the video and drop those comments about anything here you saw uh you can give us a hard time for some of the games that we haven't got to yet but trust <laughs> me they are on the list we will get to them someday uh maybe not there's some atari games you still haven't played <laughs> <laughs> anyway be sure to subscribe so that you can see uh what other requests we are taking forever to get around to and Hit that notification bell because you never know when we will get to that request so that you can finally see it all. And uh, again, Captain Algebra, I really hope you enjoyed going through all this stuff with us. And I hope you saw some good stuff. Maybe some stuff that uh, you forgot about and you need to, you know, head on over to Amazon and start picking up for yourself. Yeah. And... I'll turn it over to you. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to see what we're doing out and about in the real world. And to let you know that YouTube has dropped a video just in case YouTube is mean and does not tell you that YouTube has dropped a video. And, hi, what do you want? Redheads unite. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to hit us up over on T Public because we got merchandise! And so, you know what? If you hit up Cap, so does he. Yeah, Cap's got merch too. So, you know, we got stuff. So, nerdlings, don't forget, if we like it... We nerd it for PS4. Didn't Discart want you to do a Zelda video? Covering up your shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm a nerdling. Mine's a reveal. Though. I know yours is a reveal. <laughs> hey, Cap, just for you. <laughs> Stop crying! <laughs> okay. Ready? Of the uh, familiar. Just because we're familiar with that concept. <laughs> Done Super Mario. Or <laughs> <laughs> Super Mario Brothers! <laughs>